Hello everyone, my name is Emily Golia. I'm an actor, singer, and creator here in Los Angeles, and I am so excited to introduce you to singer-songwriter Monica Ely. How's it going, Monica? Good, thanks for having me. I'm so excited to have you here. Before we get started, I'm going to show everyone a quick video. <laughs> No hurry to see that your daddy's got money The psych degree, you go for free It's judging me like your daddy's got money It's nothing new Lucky you, you're at home on your throne all alone But your friends aren't coming, what to do? Don't you wish they would see song and I love that lyric video can you tell me a little about how the song came to be and also how the video is made um so the song started out uh I actually went out to California to meet up with a producer and um he introduced me to another producer Curtis Douglas and um I actually became really good friends with him and he actually had like the concept already like part of the lyrics already in mind and we got together and I was like oh I can really relate to these lyrics and um we had another writing session and basically like the song was kind of about like, like my high school um and just growing up in a like higher class community and like not really connecting yeah. so that's kind of where everything came together cool yeah super relatable and a vibe like I love the song and you said you made the lyric video yourself yeah, um, so I got really into like graphic design and um, whenever I started like actually professionally recording my music, um, I was like, okay, well, I have this professionally made music. I need to like come up with some really good content. Mm -hmm. And um, I reached out to some artists and um, got some ideas from them. And I kept like telling myself, like, why am I reaching out to these artists? Like, I'm an artist myself. Like, right. I can, like, put something together that is in my head. Like, other people don't know what's going on in my head. And um, so I literally downloaded the Adobe, like, Suites, Premiere Pro, After Effects, everything. And I was like, I'm going to, like, learn how to use this. And I'm going to come up with something on my own. And that's how I got, like, really into making, like, lyric videos and, like, all the social media creation content. And yeah, that's where, that's how I came up with Daddy's Money. I just like made it myself. I love that. Did you do that over the pandemic? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. I, I got into Adobe Premiere over the pandemic too. I was like, this yeah. Is, yeah, like a really cool way to stay creative. And are yeah. you continuing to do it? I'm sorry. Are you continuing to like make videos? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh-huh. I even do it for like other musicians. Like they'll hit me up and be like, Hey, can you make me a lyric video? I'm like, Oh, Hell yeah, I can. Oh my God, I love that. Oh, that's so great. Okay, so where did you grow up and then when did you get interested in music? I grew up in St. Louis, Missouri and um, I got into music in like elementary school, actually. Um, we had to pick an instrument and I picked the violin and I got really into it. And in middle school, I got into the cello. I became first year cellist. Like oh I, God. yeah, I did all kinds of things. And um, really it was in high school when I started writing, when I was a freshman in high school, I was writing like poems, lyrics, and um, I really got into that. And actually I like hid the fact that I sang for a really long time. Like it wasn't until I was like in my twenties, early twenties when I was like, okay, I think I need to stop hiding this and like come out because I'm like hiding a really big part of my life. I'm a creative person. And yeah. like, I just felt so much better when I finally came out with it. And like, all my friends were like, what the hell? Like, we've been friends forever. And I had no idea you could sing. 
Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Well, yeah. do you have any other advice? Do you have any advice out there for people that are struggling with something like that that are wanting to um, start creating in this way that they know they have, but you know? Yeah, for sure. I say like, don't be afraid. Like, really get to it in um, like because the longer you hide it in, like. I mean, it's not worth it. I struggle so much, like holding that in, like so embarrassed that people wouldn't like my voice or they would judge me. Like who gives what people have to say? Like just go for it and do it or else you're just going to be absolutely miserable. So. Absolutely. I'm all about that. That's amazing advice. And I'm so excited to have you here on the Phoenix platform. It's going to be an amazing way for people to find all of your work. And I just can't wait to see what's next for you. So thank you so much for meeting with me. Thank you for having me. Thanks. Great. Have a great day. You too. Thanks.